The city's just up ahead. Rover? There you are, my dearest seed of fate. I'm sorry, girl. All righty, what should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? I am to return to the academy, the anomalies of the gorges of spirits. The resurgence of that tacit field and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them. Then I'll go submit our report and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the magistrate while I'm there. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first. And we'll just hang out for a while. Being new to Jinjo and all, he can't be left standing outside the city hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? I'll give you a call once the paperwork is done. Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. You sure. guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of. Chissa, ally of justice at your service. Are you the one in need of a hero? Chissa is either a sub. Welcome, welcome. Here we are, exactly. Let me see, uh, 
Think of it as Jinjo's largest service station. Or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one, and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here. <laughs> oh, fire it up! Who's got Think you can catch up? an elevator.
Oh shit. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. Hello. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Since Madame Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You. You share the same frequency with Madame Magistrate. <laughs> you look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? pass authorization in the meantime i will configure the latest utility modules for you madam magistrate thought you might need it on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo.
Yes, including the City Hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the City Hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. What you call going to do? This is a testament to my connection with the world around me, and it's very much my companion now, bearing witness to it. It took you so long. What gives? Was our magistrate a... So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. <clears throat> the wind is rising. In it, I sense disturbance and unrest. The increasing tacit fields uncannily powerful tacit discords and now our magistrate's absence plus the mysterious rover <laughs> i'm afraid aren't you the practical type well, i'm just hungry i'd love me some chili sauce tofu jinjo mao chai <gasps> spicy meat slices oh I'm starving. Wait a sec. We still need to meet up with Baijia first, right? Do you have any plans, Rover? Fair point? A three-day vacation it is. Let's go chill out then. We'll figure out the tokens yep. when we have the chance. Ooh, reminds me of the tokens of love in those stories. It sounds like you're off to a secret date or something. What is our magistrate planning to do? Soulmate? Hmm. So, Madam Magistrate left some hidden clues in her tokens. Clues that only the right person would be able to decipher. But Rover has lost all memories. And would likely forget any kind of decryption method they agreed on. Uh, it doesn't quite make sense. 
Or maybe she is trying to make Rover notice something else. Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? Sure, sure. So, what's so special about them? Hmm. It seems like a miniature sundial. It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shichuns in a day. And every shichun is two hours long, with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the Teal Long represents the east. The White Tiger stands for the west. The Vermilion Bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the Black Tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But... How can it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the sugar pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjou. Baijia's still waiting for us at the academy. <laughs> There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Cherish every gain. Thank you. 
Unexpected discovery. It's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover Yin Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Well, you only need to send me a terminal message as you shout. Then I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. Why to my message? She's... Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safe. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Well, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the sugar pearl might be unique to Huang Long? I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals? Perhaps. The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huanglong local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with reliable data. Seconded. Let's find out through actual testing, then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? 
Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. When a resonator's mental capacity is overwhelmed, they may lose control of their forte, causing an overflow of resonance energy. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body, a universe. Yes. That's a poetic and intriguing comparison. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Mm. Enemy's simulated training ground. Don't worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you need. Oversight. Not, not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency. So it was not your resonance ability. straight up ahead. Grover, can you hear me? Hello? The calm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? Huh. I'm back to the same spot again. And this... moon. What is happening? Discords? 